A lot of teachers will tell me, I don't have time to create connection with my students. I want you to throw the word connection out the door. Because I couldn't connect with them either. I'm not there to connect with the students. I'm there to teach them dance. So there we were. I'm teaching them dance and I'm, I'm doing something different. I'm doing so much more than connecting while I'm teaching the movement. I'm doing something called attuning. Attunement. If you could replace connection with the word attunement, you're taking it a little bit deeper. Attunement is a beautiful human ability to connect with someone you don't even know. And what's awesome for you is you have an advantage. You're literally journeying with these kids for ten, nine months. You're journeying with them. So the attunement that you have right now can be quite high. September, yeah, it's, it's really quite messy. But by now, it's like you know you can, you can probably predict when certain things are going to rise up, right? You can predict a little bit? Yeah? She's like, yeah, I can. <laughs> I know when it's about to blow, right? You start to notice. Now, here's what's so interesting. In 30 minutes, 30 minutes, I was able, by the time I got to that circle, and those kids were going in, I could tell you what each kid's strength was. And I don't even know them. Never met them in my life. 30 minutes through attunement. You see, because we are wired, our brains are wired for connection. There's something called interpersonal neurobiology. Attunement rewires the brain. So, what's interesting about this is if you can pretend that my fingers are neuropathways in your brain, right? You have experiences in your life that shape the neural pathways that come together and fire together. You try to get those things apart, right? You got kids in your class who have had experiences, good and bad, and that has shaped the way they think and in they come to your class. You're the same. You've had things in your life, traumas, great things, beautiful things, bad things, and it shaped your brain in a certain way and those neural pathways have come together. What attunement does is it creates a base of what everybody in this room needs. You're no different than the person next to you. You need this just as much as they do. Your student, who is the hardest student in your class, they need the same thing as you. It's the need to be understood. When somebody feels understood, they relax. Every part of them relaxes. Their brain relaxes. They come to their prefrontal cortex. Their nervous system relaxes. But as soon as somebody feels misunderstood, we got walls. We got behaviors. We've got shame. We become the person that we don't want to be. When you can attune to a student, what you're doing is over time, I mean, if it's taken eight years for that kid to develop these kind of neural pathways of anxiety, all those behaviors, all those thoughts, all these emotions, they are wired, they're fired together. But your attunement, do you know what happens? This is interpersonal neurobiology. Those neural pathways start to come apart. And the most beautiful thing on the planet happens. It's a miracle. New neural pathways start to create of confidence courage, tenacity, the willingness to try, the willingness to maybe open up their mind just for a moment to listen. Interpersonal neurobiology changed my life in my home and I've seen it happen for 20 years in those circles by not being able to talk but to be able to actually see somebody else. See past the outer exterior and pull out the gold inside that kid. And when kids would go in, I'll tell you, there was this one kid, Johnny. This kid, you know, he had everything going against him. And he said to me one day, he said, please don't make me go in the middle of that circle. And I said to him, you never have to go in, ever. Don't tell anybody else, but he, no one's going to force you. And that day, the circle was so electric, everyone was attuning. Because if I can attune, they can attune. You see, it's caught. It's not taught. 
They're picking up on my ability to attune and they're tuning to each other. Now I gave them a framework. I said the outside of the circle is more important than what's going on in the middle. Why? Because the outside of the circle creates. It either creates a place where someone feels brave and free or it makes them feel constricted. You guys get to decide what we create today. That was it. That's all I said. The circle was electric and in goes this kid and he's flailing his arms. His movements were not great at all. But everyone is cheering for him. And afterwards I asked him, you said you didn't want to go in the circle. What got you in the middle? He said, I don't know. I just felt so free. I've never forgotten that kid. Because that's what we get to create through knowing how to attune. How do you learn how to attune? You learn how to be human. You stop putting away your checklists of, okay, so Connie said to first step with an ADHD child, do this, check, check, check. No. You learn how to identify emotions in yourself, your own thought processes, your own behaviors. You don't judge them. 